When studying Sparta, the ancient city-state famous for its tough soldiers and disciplined society, it is fascinating to look into the lesser-known parts of Spartan life, such as their approach to sexuality. In sharp contrast to other Greek city-states, the Spartans had a distinctive and open attitude about sex and sexuality. The purpose of this video is to shed light on the fascinating sexual behaviors that flourished in ancient Sparta. In Sparta, the primary purpose of sexual relationships was to produce strong and healthy offspring who would grow up to become formidable soldiers. The Spartans placed great emphasis on maintaining a robust population of warriors. As a result, marriage in ancient Sparta was a highly regulated and organized institution. Men were typically married in their late twenties or early thirties, while women were wed in their late teens. However, marital fidelity was not strictly enforced in Spartan society. Married men were encouraged to engage in extramarital affairs, especially with younger men, as it was believed that these encounters would foster close bonds and mentorship between older and younger warriors. The aim was to ensure a strong camaraderie within the military ranks. Wait! They are more to know about the sex life of Spartans in their time. But first smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Homosexuality was common in Spartan civilization, and same-sex partnerships were regarded as an essential component of warrior culture. Pederasty was a relationship between an older man, known as the Erists, and a younger man, known as the Aromanos. It was hoped that the older man would pass on his knowledge, abilities, and military principles to the younger man through this partnership. Pederasty in Sparta differed from other Greek city-states in that it was not solely focused on sexual desire. Instead, it revolved around mentorship and education, with a strong emphasis on the cultivation of virtues such as courage, self-control, and discipline. The Aorists was responsible for the Aromanos education, physical training, and moral development. Sparta's unique approach to physical education played a significant role in shaping their sexual practices. In Sparta, young boys underwent rigorous training at the Agog, a state-controlled educational institution. Nudity was an integral part of this education, with both boys and men engaging in athletic activities and military training without clothing. This exposure to nudity from a young age aimed to remove any sense of shame or embarrassment associated with the human body. It was believed that this practice would develop a strong sense of self-confidence and eliminate any inhibitions related to sexuality. Consequently, this normalization of nudity played a role in fostering a more open and relaxed attitude towards sex in Spartan society. Unlike in many other Greek city-states, Spartan women enjoyed a remarkable degree of freedom and autonomy. They were actively involved in physical activities, participated in public events, and had access to education. This relative freedom extended to their sexual lives as well. Spartan women were encouraged to engage in premarital and extramarital relationships, with the belief that this would produce healthier and stronger children. Sexual encounters outside of marriage were not considered taboo or immoral, as long as they served the purpose of enhancing the Spartan population. Women were expected to prioritize the welfare of the state above their own personal desires.